This is an apology from myself to Thunderfoot and other YouTube users. I confirm that the contents of this apology are true and accurate. My username on YouTube is VenomFangX. As many of you may know, there has been a dispute between Thunderfoot and myself over the past few weeks. We have resolved that dispute, and as part of the resolution, I am here to express my regret for the misuse of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act to serve takedown notices in relation to a number of Thunderfoot's videos on YouTube. In return, Thunderfoot has agreed not to pursue legal action against me or report me to YouTube. I now realize that I should have sought legal advice before acting. When I served the notices, I did not have a clear understanding of what I was doing or the potential consequences of my actions. I now understand that the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, or DMCA for short, is a U.S. copyright law. A DMCA takedown notice is filed under penalty of perjury, and filing a malicious or knowingly false claim of infringement is a criminal act in the United States. If you serve a malicious or false DMCA notice on someone, then that person has the right to pursue civil action which enables them to recover damages and legal fees. These are potential legal consequences of, of misrepresentations in a DMCA takedown notice. Filing a DMCA is a legal right, but it is inadvisable, as this apology demonstrates, to file one without first knowing what you're doing. Further, YouTube states that misrepresentations in a takedown notice is a breach of its terms of service, which can lead to the termination of your account. The DMCA takedown notices that I filed against Thunderfoot were enforced by YouTube on the 8th of September, 2008, and the videos that I had lodged these notices against were removed. As a result of Thunderfoot's counter notices and the fact that I did not take legal action against him, the videos were reinstated on the 1st of October, 2008. I did not contest these counter notifications as I did not have a valid copyright infringement claim and I was wrong to have served these notices. I accept that I deliberately and repeatedly lied to cover up my wrongdoings, both in emails to Thunderfoot and in my videos. I apologize for lying to Thunderfoot and to all of those whom I have deceived. On the 15th of September, I posted a video in which I alleged that Thunderfoot had committed blackmail. I made this allegation without having taken legal advice. I now accept that I was wrong to have made this allegation, that it was and is totally without legal merit. Again, for this, I apologize to Thunderfoot. On the 17th of September, I speculated that Thunderfoot had maliciously disseminated my personal information and that this action might result in the death of myself or my family. I now accept that Thunderfoot has never disseminated any personal information relating to me or anyone else. Further, I accept that it would have been impossible for him to have done so as he's only ever received my first and my last name from YouTube and that he intentionally did not request any further details. I accept that my speculation was an abominable attempt to vilify the character of the man who I had filed baseless DMCA infringement claims against. I apologize to Thunderfoot for this. On the 17th of September, I rationalized that my filing of DMCA notices against Thunderfoot's videos by suggesting that I perceive the purpose of these videos as being solely to humiliate or defame my character. I now understand that this is not an issue of copyright. On the 13th and 17th of September, I posted a video in which I suggested that I would go to heaven while Thunderfoot would go to hell. I now understand that my theological views have nothing to do with the legality of my actions concerning the DMCA. Finally, I accept that the language and tone of the five videos I made following my misuse of the DMCA were confrontational and inflammatory, and that I am very lucky that Thunderfoot maintained his objectivity in the face of this hostility. I now accept that Thunderfoot was primarily motivated by protecting freedom of speech from the detrimental effects that misuse of the DMCA can have. See chillingeffects.org. I now understand that my misuse of the DMCA was essentially stepping on free speech rights of others and that this was both antisocial and unlawful and I was wrong for, do for doing so. I apologize to Thunderfoot and to anyone else affected by my actions.